Chapter 516, Kuriyama Takes the Blame Coral was fighting Kitamura's combat troops in close quarters, armed with her weapons. A thousand people surrounded her, yet she showed no fear. The gungner in her hands accumulated power, but did not fire. Lightning struck at irregular intervals. Some practitioners could not dodge in time and were reduced to broken bits. The two knights entered the empty place, but Kitamura had disappeared. Takashima stood on the enclosing wall, looking at the two Class B knights. A young girl with platinum hair sat on one of the knights' shoulder, looking coldly at Takashima. Seeing the scene in front of him, Takashima understood that Kitamura had probably died in the battle. Although the knights were of large build, their strength was on par with that of a Class B expert. Their strength was frightening. They seemed to only attack with physical weapons. They used a great sword to mercilessly attack their opponents. The use of only physical weapons seemed to be relatively easier to deal with. But for some reason, as long as a practitioner was within a kilometer radius of the knights, their speed would reduce by 30% if they did not have spirit chi protecting their bodies. Takashima certainly would not be affected, but the problem was, was it possible for him to defeat three people by himself? He was only a mid-tier class B. But the main problem was that the collection of gods and the deities had no conflict with each other. Even if there was, it would not justify why the deities came all the way to launch a fatal attack on them. He could not understand why they had come to attack the collection of gods. And it seemed like they were willing to fight till their last breath. Takashima's expression grew darker and darker. He opened this fortress for a ritual that would allow him to rapidly advance to Class A, thus allowing him to deal with the internal disturbances and foreign aggression. Kitamura always had a lot of ambition. When Nojua Takenobu was still around, the three of them could still check and balance one another. But after Nojua Takenobu's death, the conflict between the two began to worsen. Two tigers cannot share one mountain. One of them had to assert his dominance. The two Class A's at the Heavenly Network also gave Takashima a lot of pressure. If that Nye Ting came to start another massacre, who else would be able to stop him? For cases like this, Takashima had planned to take a dangerous risk. He would capture all those who had opposed his political views or the fence-sitters between him and Kitamura into the fortress and wait for an offer of sacrifice. But that was still not enough. Takashima was very agitated. He had even deployed people to arrest the secret practitioners. But by then, it would be too late. He turned back to look at the troops preparing for battle. His eyes darkened. Takashima was very clear that they could not defeat their opponents with just manpower. The only way for him to save the collection of gods was to successfully advance to Class A. Takashima entered the fortress. He told his trusted subordinate, get one group to bring all the prisoners up. Get another group to prepare for the sacrificial ritual inside this very fortress. The resources for the ritual had all been prepared in advance. The deepest level of the underground base had been reserved as the secret ritual spot. However, he did not have the chance to bring everyone there again. Takashima's resentment made his expression grow darker. If only his opponents had come two days later, he would have succeeded in the sacrificial ritual. Bring out all the magical stones to complete the sacrifice, instructed Takashima. Takashima's subordinates were the elite of the combat troops. Out of over a hundred people, there were more than ten new class C masters. One could say that Takashima did his utmost to invest resources in them. These people could use up to 30 magical stones every month. His trusted subordinate assigned men to open the warehouse. Number 19, 17, and 15 opened fully. There were not many magical stones in number 17 and 15. Takashima had wanted to lure out that heavenly king, thus almost 60% of the magical stones were in warehouse number 19. The magical stones in warehouse number 17 and 15 were transported out. Lu Shu looked gloomily at the sky. Would he be exposed so quickly? 
In his original plan, the collection of gods would only find out after he had left. He did not think that they would find out even before he had left. He took this chance to pull aside one of the 120 Class E practitioners. The practitioner he had picked out had a similar build to him. Do you want to become the head? Come with me. I want to talk to you. The practitioner was very confused. Under chaotic conditions it was hard to have an opinion of one's own. Furthermore, upon hearing good news like the chance to become a head, one would definitely follow their senior officer. Lu Xu coaxed the practitioner as he dragged him to a corner with no one around. He immediately wrenched his neck and even placed the corpse in the seal of lands, allowing the mystic water to get rid of the evidence. He quickly changed his appearance and walked back. The person deployed to transport at warehouse number 19 suddenly shouted out. These boxes are completely empty. The magical stones have disappeared. All 92,000 stones have disappeared. From Takashima Tairatsu's distress, plus 999. From. Lu Xu looked around. Seeing that no one cared about his appearance, he joined in the shouting. How did the magical stones disappear? What is this? Ah. Uh. I don't know either. Do you know what happened? 92,000 magical stones have been stolen by someone. This is just too scary. The uproar was like a boiling sea. Lu Xu began to collect distress points like waves crashing in. Lu Xu put on an act on the surface, but on the inside he was bursting with joy. Everyone was too kind. This wave of distress points was especially high. The distress points that Lu Xu needed to illuminate the seventh star kept rising. Takashima came to warehouse number 19 in disbelief. The wooden coffers in front of the warehouse had all been destroyed. The inside of the warehouse was completely empty. In his rage, Takashima drew his black katana from his waist. He sliced the practitioner standing by his side in half. Who did this? He suddenly realized another problem. Takashima's eyes were bloodshot. Where are Kuriyama and Miyazaki? The people were dumbfounded. That's right. As the people in charge of the warehouse, how could they not be around after such a large disturbance? Lu Xu felt slightly awkward. They had transported the magical stones, but he had taken them away. They had tried to find the culprit, but the culprit had been killed by him. Although he had taken the appearance of someone else, he could not help but fear that he would be exposed. Suddenly someone had some doubt. It couldn't be that Kuriyama and Miyazaki took the magical stones away, right? This deduction made a lot of sense. If not, where would Kuriyama and Miyazaki be? Everyone was noisy and confused. Lushu suddenly hid in one corner and shouted out, it must have been Kuriyama and Miyazaki who stole the magical stones. The people around him followed suit. That's right, it must be them. This was just providing Lu Xu with a wave of distress points. Chapter 517, Check from Across the Sea At this moment, Lu Xu realized that the large amount of magical stones might be an essential element to Takashima's sacrificial ceremony. Otherwise, why the incessant contribution of 999 distress points? The greatest trouble he caused in Japan this time was perhaps stealing those stones. At first, Lu Xu felt a tinge of guilt for destroying his image. But now, it seemed everything was perfectly justifiable. Did he take those stones away for his own sake? Nope. It was to prevent the emergence of a Class A enemy, so as to protect the safety of the Heavenly Network. Wasn't that his credit? Absolutely yes. As expected, only when he did not mean it, could Lu Xu stir up real affairs. Takashima had made up his mind. In the very beginning, the magical stone altar was meant to replace a few sacrifices, in order to minimize the number of lives lost. After all, human capital was crucial for the collection of gods as well. But now, there was no other choice. 
Takashima was well aware of the severity of the situation. The collection of gods might perish if he failed to advance to class as soon. He eyed his trusted subordinates, whose eyes were teeming with craziness with the knowledge of the upcoming events. They had long since pledged their lives to Takashima and had lost their sanity while working for him. His subordinates split into teams of ten, each led by a class C, they walked into the crowds, enclosing all collection of God's members in the fortress like a giant web. One of the teams immediately spilled the commoner's blood. All of a sudden, screams of fear and agony shrouded the place. Those commoners had never expected they would be the first casualties in the given situation. In front of the practitioners, commoners were totally defenseless. In a fraction of a minute, streams of blood covered the ground. Abhorrence penetrated Lu Xu's heart. How could the collection of gods take other people's lives as they pleased? Other collection of gods members were confused. Gradually, they quietened down, watching the massacre from the side. Then, the trusted subordinates drew out a gigantic magical spell on the floor, hauling the dead bodies around as their paintbrushes and the spell would include each and every collection of God's member inside, with no exception. Lu Xu felt his flesh creep. Has that Takashima Tairatsu gone mad? Was he really planning to sacrifice so many people? What more, his own people? Other collection of God's practitioners were petrified too. What? They had only practiced the techniques for the sacrifice, which could serve two purposes. On one hand, they could accumulate their own power at the expense of other people's lives, just like what happened at the Baymang remains. On the other, they could sacrifice the future of their own cultivation in exchange for a temporary surge in power. Yet, they had utterly no knowledge of the scene right in front of their eyes now. Trusted subordinates had towed out the goods from warehouse number 17 and number 15 and placed them in the sacrificial formation. Then, everyone was aghast to see them instructing other practitioners to arrange magical stones. It felt like the practitioners were asked to chop onions and gingers and boil themselves in the pot. In fact, many of them had no idea what Takashima wanted, but they carried on without any complaint nonetheless. This was insane. Lu Xu found it hard to understand the logic, even though it truly existed. Everything was so absurd that Lu Xu felt it was a bit surreal. A man raised his voice and questioned, Lord Takashima, are you planning to sacrifice all of us? Just when he was done talking, he was sliced into halves by a trusted subordinate nearby. And his blood became the fresh ink for the spell formation. Then, the ye goods that had been kept captive in the base were brought up. There were a whopping hundreds of them. All of them were immobilized due to the injections. Takashima announced, now, the collection of gods is facing a strong enemy. In a time when our shared family is about to be destroyed, we, the collection of gods, would rather die in glory than live in dishonor. It is time for your sacrifice, for the collection of gods. Die in glory. Die in glory. I vow to survive or perish with the collection of gods. I vow to survive or perish with the collection of gods. Madness filled many people's eyes, but a minority suddenly dashed towards the gate. I'm not going to sacrifice myself. For some reason, Lu Xu felt relieved at the sight, for he had finally seen a piece of clean land amidst a stinky, disgusting swamp of dirt. He understood patriotism, but not to sacrifice themselves for Takashima, a mere individual. Fortunately, some people in the collection of gods still had their sanity. Lu Xu did not move. Takashima's trusted subordinates started a massacre among the runners, while others watched in apathy. After all of them were killed, people resumed the arrangement of magical stones under the trusted subordinates' guidance. They followed a certain pattern. It was a majestic view where thousands of people were arranging tens of thousands of magical stones. In the meantime, Lu Xu secretly picked up the stones put down by those in front. In the disorder, no one noticed what he had done. But Lu Xu would not stay at only one place. Like a busy bee, he would go to somewhere else after picking up a few stones. Eh? There's one here. Eh? 
There's another one there. Some people turned back only to see in bewilderment that their stones were gone. From Asano Katsuhito's Distress, plus 199. From. Just when Lu Shu was enjoying himself, one of Takashima's trusted subordinates roared, watch out for those around you. Report once you notice anyone stealing magical stones. Lu Shu felt regretful. He could have picked up tens of thousands of magical stones. The subordinates searched everyone for the stolen stones when they supervised the work. When they came to Lu Shu, his pocket was even cleaner than his face, and he only had in his hands the five stones given to him just now. Lu Shu yelled with great passion, die in glory. His shout scared the subordinate. Do your work. Actually, Lu Shu was pondering how to disrupt the ceremony. First of all, he had to ensure his own safety. Secondly, should Takashima successfully advance to Class A, wouldn't that mean Coral would be in danger? Lu Shu would not have cared if it was some other person. But it seemed that he was the root cause for the conflict between the deities and the collection of gods this time. He would not stay put if Coral were to die for him. When she treated him with all sincerity, he had to do the same as reciprocation. That was Lu Shu's philosophy in life. Besides, he had to clear the fake news about his death, so as to let her know that the check she promised earlier was still valid. Chapter 518, No Regrets Being Chinese The preparation was almost complete. Many people had sat in the formation with their legs crossed, exactly the same as what happened in the Beimang remains. A sense of urgency seized Lu Shu. Takashima was about to advance to Class A like this. When everyone was seated, two lines of bloody tears rolled down Takashima's face. The stream slid down his cheeks, seeming to have awakened the human blood on the ground. Like tentacles, blood reached out to connect with his tears. At this moment, numerous traces of blood rose from within the formation, wrapping around all the practitioners. Meanwhile, Takashima's trusted subordinates guarded the ground outside the formation. Everyone, God bless you in heaven, Takashima said and closed his eyes. The ritual had begun, and every individual involved was awaiting their death in silence. Wait. Lu Shu suddenly raised his hand. I want to use the bathroom. That startled all the trusted subordinates standing outside. What the hell are you thinking? From Takashima Tairatsu's Distress, plus 999. From. Takashima's eyes were immediately wide open. He fixed Lu Shu with a malicious stare. Even the motion of the entire sacrificial formation paused a little. Lu Shu would have been slain on the spot, if not for those subordinates' fear of the formation. Outside the enclosure wall there were loud clashes and roars of thunder. Takashima knew fully well that time was running out. At this moment, an old voice sounded outside, Please leave, Your Excellency. If you insist on killing us, we will pledge our lives to protect our family from invaders. That pleased Takashima. He had never expected the hidden clans of the conservatives to appear at this timing in an effort to counter the enemies. Despite being the losing side of the civil war, the remaining forces of the conservatives would not sit still as their land was tread upon by aggressors. The main conflict between the conservatives and the jingoists was their stand on foreign policies. But they shared the same interest in protecting their country. That was also why Nye Ting had never asked Lu Xu to befriend the conservatives. This was his opportunity. Takashima knew that those clans could buy more time for him. At that instant, blood-red traces suddenly rolled towards Lu Xu. The number of blood threads sent to him was multiple times that of others. But what happened next caught everyone present off guard. From Lu Xu's body flew out a golden dragon. For some reason, Lu Xu had realized that after his acquisition of the weapon spirit, the divine water could be better controlled when in the dragon form, just like Howard's fiery phoenix. At the same time, Lu Xu stood tall on the dragon head, instantly breaking those bloody traces upon contact with the divine water. The young man looked condescendingly at those below. Lu Xu could not wait any longer. 
With the activation of the formation, it would soon be too late to act. In the meantime, other practitioners' strength was being extracted by the blood threats, transmitted to Takashima via the formation. Lu Xu could sense the rapid growth in Takashima's power and energy. He would soon reach the peak of Class B. Lu Xu advanced forward across the formation. With the protection from the divine water, he could walk through the ground unharmed. At this moment, streams of blood on the floor suddenly concentrated into a blood dragon, swirling towards Lu Xu. Those subordinates had also stepped into the formation themselves to try and take Lu Xu's life. The blood dragon suddenly split into four to surround Lu Xu. Despite his best defense, Lu Xu was still hit by one of the dragons. Fresh blood welled up in Lu Xu's throat. He took a step back to reanalyze the situation. Lu Xu would not be able to counter the blood dragon and over ten class C masters at the same time. Then he realized he was unable to fight against the formation in spite of all his powers. Blasts of red and gold bellowed across the formation. Lu Xu suddenly noticed that Takashima seemed to have been immobilized in the starting stage of the sacrifice. Outside the Sea of Qi, the two flying daggers had been rapidly scraping against the snow mountain, which was on the verge of collapse. Lu Xu was well aware that his daggers could hardly inflict any physical harm on Takashima in the current situation, given the thick layer of bloody threads around him. Lu Xu had to find a way to break through. His days of practice and hard work might soon be able to pay off. The ancestor of the Hall of Swords once said, the Sea of Qi was as reckless as the ocean, and Snow Mountain as vast. The manifestation of one's will in their swords would rise up into the mountains and into the clouds. Back then, there were those who achieved the level of sword will after the collapse of the Snow Mountain. Lu Xu awaited that day eagerly. In the meantime, Lu Xu could only destroy the formation to the best of his abilities while evading the giant blood dragon at the same time. His daggers sped up in their progress of flattening the mountain, but had yet to achieve complete success. The divine water carried Lu Xu around in the formation, but seemed less powerful than the blood dragon. It seemed that a single mistake on Lu Xu's side would result in his death. Lu Xu aimed at Takashima, but was held back by the blood dragon and over ten class Cs. It was hard to fight against so many enemies at the same time. However, at this moment, one of the trusted subordinates suddenly sliced towards his teammate with his katana. Everyone was startled. A class C stood in between Lu Xu and the rest were outside the formation. His strengths were growing rapidly, which reminded Lu Xu of the class D expert who sacrificed his own future just to kill a class D criminal the other night. Blood oozed out of the class C's skin, but his expression was as calm as the deep sea. Then, he turned and smiled at Lu Xu. I will take care of them. Handle the rest, please. As soon as he finished the sentence, he dashed towards the other subordinates with his katana. At that instant, his figure was as steady as a mountain, like the golden sun emerging out of the sea surface and layers of clouds, spreading radiance and warmth to the world. He laughed. I really miss the minced meat noodles of my hometown. It's been a long time since I left my home. I never regret being born Chinese. I hope to be your comrade again in my next life. Suddenly, cracks rippled out on the enclosure wall with a loud crash. The growth in the man's power came to a stop right below Class B, he had reached his limit. Even he himself knew that he had been burning the candle at both ends under his sheer will that day. Otherwise, he would have been able to reach Class B. He thrust his blade into a trusted subordinate like a flying moth darting into the flame. He aimed to kill with every blow, regardless of his own injuries. This was because he knew he would not be the last man standing. Thus, the only way was to kill as many as he could. Soon, his body was punctured by three katanas, in his waist, thigh and right rib, respectively. Meanwhile, he had killed nine. Leaning on his katana, the man coughed up fresh blood and chortled. I am Lucio from the Heavenly Network. Anyone dare to fight me? Even the remaining five men were hesitant. 
The man, drenched in blood, still had a murderous air around. Eyeing the remaining subordinates, Lu Xiao laughed. I shouldn't have freaking promised to take care of you all. Such an overstatement. With that, Lu Xiao closed his eyes. But he remained standing even in death. Chapter 519 Open, The Sea of Qi As Lu Xu was battling the blood dragon, he momentarily fell silent. He guessed that out of all the people here, some were his comrades from the Heavenly Network. He never thought that he would have to say goodbye to them just after meeting them. This was perhaps the reason why Lu Xu felt touched when he had made his vow then. Long live willpower. He had come to where he was now by a strange combination of circumstances. The blood formation had been formed. He understood that he would probably not be able to escape. The Sea of Qi was already within his sight. But Lu Xu felt no remorse. All the moments from his seventeen years of living appeared before his eyes. They were like the pages of a book continuously flipping in the warm breeze under the afternoon sun. The pages stopped flipping and all that was left were two unyielding words on the last page. Live on. The moment Takashima had almost broken through Class A, Lu Xu rode the golden dragon and rushed towards Takashima like a madman. As the blood dragon was about to kill Lu Xu, spears appeared from his hands and bombed the dragon like artillery shells. The twelve spears rapidly and brazenly attacked it. Lu Xu knew that he was not worthy of being Takashima's opponent, but he could not allow him to successfully advance to Class A. If he did, then Lu Xiu would have died for nothing. Besides, who said that he would definitely die? Lu Xu's eyes reddened. His expression was filled with madness. I still want to, go back and see Xiaoyu. Lu Xu's twelve spears broke one after another after striking the blood dragon. The roar of weapons did not cease. Even Takashima's face turned pale as a result of the sound. But Lu Xu used these twelve spears to forcibly open up an escape route. The mystical water surged forward like a dragon. Takashima sat quietly among the blood formation, coldly looking at Lu Xu. Do you really think that you can injure me? Wait till I finish the sacrifice. That will be your time of death. The blood-colored wires twisted like a thread. Suddenly, the blood formation wrapped Takashima in a giant red cocoon. Then, the golden dragon and the blood cocoon clashed. The corpse dog hidden within the golden dragon emerged with a roar. Lu Xu knew that it was too late for him to open the Sea of Qi and he gave up on this idea. He had to use his strongest attack to open this blood cocoon. Lu Xu had just realized that throughout the entire ritual, Takashima was immobile. Takashima also did not think that this collision would result in an unforeseen event. The corpse dog passed through the blood cocoon and came in front of Takashima. Takashima suddenly raised his hand. His hand, that was usually of normal complexion, was suddenly wrapped in countless bloody threads. This bloody hand forcibly sent the corpse dog flying. Takashima was not in a good condition either. It seemed like he had exerted too much energy. He grabbed the three subordinates standing by the blood formation with his bloody hand and dragged them in the formation as sacrifice. Lu Xu shouted in rage. Die. The concealed arrow that had been hidden in the celestial map flew out with a roar. It caused a huge explosion between Lu Xu and Takashima. Takashima did not expect Lu Xu to have more tricks. This flying sword had two blades. Didn't the flying swords from the Heavenly Network only have one blade? Even as Takashima was about to advance to Class A, he could not help but to dodge the concealed arrow. If he did not do so, he would suffer from fatal injuries. The concealed arrow scraped his rib, leaving a tiny blood stain. The blood cocoon shook. Takashima's actions were too large. Lu Xu's desperate combat was an attempt to make him suffer defeat when victory was within his reach. Are you trying to die? Takashima was burning with fury. The ritual had been interrupted on the boundary between Class A and Class B. 
he was not able to advance to Class A even after consuming so many lives and magical stones. Great waves surged from the blood formation and went in Lu Xu's direction. The members of the collection of gods who had been in the formation were all dead. It was too late for him to dodge. Lu Xu used his mystic water and spirit qi to protect himself. He put his arms in front of him to resist the ghostly aura. The reason he was able to injure Takashima then was because Takashima had to fully absorb the results of the sacrifice before he could successfully break through. The Takashima now had seemingly broken his shackles. He now had no apprehension. With a roar, Lu Xu was thrown to the ground. He suddenly felt as if his entire skeleton was filled with cracks. There was a cracking sound between his bones. His internal organs started to bleed. Even his appearance had returned to its original state. He no longer had the energy to keep up his disguise. Lu Xu suddenly realized that Takashima was levitating. This was the sign of a class A, he had achieved resonance with heaven and earth, and was free from the earth's gravitational force. Lu Xu could not move his entire body, yet he laughed as he coughed out blood. You have not successfully advanced. Lu Xu had sensed that although Takashima's waves of power was 30% stronger than Nojua Takenobu at his peak, he was still far away from the likes of Mia Ting, Chen Baili, and Li Xianyi. Although he had not been able to kill his opponent, he had been able to stop his opponent from advancement with his abilities as a class C. The mystical water flowed back to the Seal of Lands. The two blades also flew back to the celestial map. Lu Xu felt some remorse. It looks like he would no longer be able to accompany Xiaoyu. The corpse dog and concealed arrow silently sharpened the sea of qi. Lu Xu had never been one to easily surrender. Even if he was about to die the next moment, he would do all he could in this one second to find a thin thread of hope. The enclosing wall of the fortress collapsed with a loud crash. A girl with platinum hair emerged from the smoke, holding a thunderbolt. Her appearance remained fine, but there was some dust and traces of blood on her face. The night puppets had been injured in the battle. They returned to the marks on her hands, using her abilities to regain their strength. After killing for so long, she was also slightly exhausted. The girl inside the enclosing wall was in a difficult position. The ruins outside the wall were filled with corpses. Coral looked at the young man on the floor. Her eyes were filled with surprise and joy. Lu Xu, is that you? Her voice carried a hint of disbelief. There was still a ray of hope in this darkness. Lu Xu flashed an ugly grin. Kill this old kid before talking about the past. The thunderbolt in Coral's hand shone brightly. The gungner cast swift bolts of sudden thunder. The levitating Takashima launched four massive dragons in the direction of the Gungner. But he had underestimated the Gungner. The weapon of the Master of Gods, Odin, cut through the dragons as if transversing the river of time. The brightly shining Gungner sliced through each of the blood dragons. Coral suddenly generated power and ran wildly. The ground of the fortress cracked under her feet. She followed closely behind the Gungner with unparalleled power. Her eyes were filled with thunderbolts. Coral was much more formidable than Takashima now. Lu Xu was at her feet. She would be willing to rush to her death if it was for Lu Xu's sake. At this very moment, there was suddenly the ring and tremble of swords within three kilometers radius from Lu Xu. The invisible swords from the inner walls of the fortress started to crisscross and splash in all directions. The originally smooth wall had been modeled with sword marks. Zing. A neat trace of blood appeared on Takashima's face. It seemed like an invisible sword had carelessly scraped past. Chapter 520, Sword Spirit. The sound was a characteristic of the Tao from the Hall of Swords. When Li Xianyi advanced to Class A, the sound had almost destroyed everything within a 10-kilometer radius of Luo City. Li Xianyi had prevented a great catastrophe only by storing the sword intent. But the sound still lingered. But people had only heard of the sound that spread out across 10 kilometers. 
No one had ever heard of someone who could create heavenly visions after advancing to Class B, Lu Xu may have been the first, or even the pioneer of doing so. In the future, there might be other Class Bs who would be able to create heavenly visions. But there was no one before Lu Xu who could do so. Lu Xu tried to manipulate the invisible swords that filled the sky, but it was too chaotic from beginning to end. It seemed like when the Sea of Qi parted, the world was changing. The Qi mountain outside the Sea of Qi toppled over on its side with a crash. The method that Lu Xu and Li Shani proposed worked. The Qi mountain was suppressing the entire Sea of Qi. Were it not for this Qi mountain, his Sea of Qi would have opened up a long time ago. But Lu Xu suddenly realized that this was not the scene that Li Shani had described when the Sea of Qi opened. He clearly remembered Li Xiani's description, but the floating clouds and the ocean beyond the Sea of Qi did not surge into its hole, instead, it formed a large whirlpool. Lu Xu immediately felt that something was wrong. The whirlpool was stirring up the whole of the Sea of Qi, turning it upside down. No. This can't be right. Lu Xu felt that the floating clouds and the ocean did not want to enter the Sea of Qi, instead. It wanted to fuse with the opponent to form heaven and earth. The pain was unbearable. Lu Xu's clothes were wet with his cold sweat, but he could not move. This process was forcibly transforming his body. Lu Xu did not know what to do, because those who had a similar experience earlier could not provide him with any help. What Lu Xu had to do now was not to walk on the small, rugged path in the mountains. That path had the footprints of those who had ventured there before, at least he would know the way. But Lu Xu could not do so. He was creating a new chapter in history for the Tao practitioners. His sea of qi would form heaven and earth. Lu Xu suddenly saw the qi mountain that had collapsed on one side, forming tiny cracks. It produced a clicking noise in his head, like an icy river shattering, fine, yet drawn out. With a rumble, the Qi mountain crumbled into pieces. He saw small, white shadows springing out from the mountain. Lu Xu was confused. What was happening? Lu Xu was astonished. Li Xiani had never said that such things would emerge from the mountain after it had collapsed. This had completely upended his beliefs. Lu Xu was scared of the small shadows springing out and shouting. Grandfather, grandfather. Calabash brothers? Was that you? So what did Pangolin say just before he died? This was just too frightening. The things that had happened to Lu Xu after he had embarked on the path of a practitioner was just not normal. The small, tiny shadows sprang to their feet as they laughed and played. They directly went inside the corpse dog. Suddenly it was all clear to Lu Xu. He now knew a tiny bit more about the connection between him and the corpse dog. Was this a spirit? That can't be right. Rather than a spirit, it was more like a sword spirit that was a direct successor of the sword energy and Lu Shu. Why would a spirit be produced right after the Qi Mountain was worn down and collapsed? The old man had never talked about such a thing. So the old man's suggestion, to use the Qi Mountain and sharpen his skills, was a mistake, right? The Qi Mountain was actually used to give birth to a sword spirit. What the, was this old man still reliable? Lu Xu suddenly woke up with a start. It was as if he could control the paths of the 100 invisible swords. This was very different from the old man's 10,000 blades, but these invisible swords could become his greatest trump card besides the corpse dog and the concealed arrow, to this class B. Takashima did not know that the sound of Lu Xu's Tao only had a radius of three kilometers. But he knew the origin of this heavenly vision. Upon his detailed analysis, he did not think that this was the work of a class A. But these were beside the point. The main point was that when he had just advanced, his heavenly vision did not have a chance to fully form before being interrupted by Lu Xu. He had stopped just before the Class A boundary, he was now in between Class A and the peak of Class B. This feeling made Takashima furious. But now was not the time to be involved in these kinds of things. 
knowing that Lu Xu was not advancing to Class A made him calm down. The Gungner was coming towards him. The black katana in Takashima's hands raised up a wave of blood. The entire fortress shook and almost collapsed under the massive blast. Lu Xu, who was unable to move, was sent flying to a corner. Ow ow ow. Hearing Lu Xu in pain made Coral's heart hurt. She hurled the thunderbolt with unparalleled power in Takashima's direction. At the same time, Takashima's hands were bound with countless blood threats. He launched an attack in Coral's direction. Although Takashima was on the Class A boundary, this position still contained the two words Class A. On the other hand, even though Coral had awakened Odin's bloodline, she was still a Class B beginner. Coral probably could not even defeat Class B expert, let alone a Class A. Coral was sent flying. Her long platinum hair was messed up. She threw up a mouthful of fresh blood while in midair. Even though this injury was less severe than that of Lu Xu's, there was not much difference. Among the uproar, a voice slowly sounded, If I, Lu Xu, had not been born, then the sword spirit is dark like a long night. Takashima turned back, panic-stricken. Coral helped herself up and looked at Lu Xu in pleasant surprise. But, the two of them realized that Lu Xu was still on the ground, unable to move. What are you acting for if you can't even move? From Takashima Tairatsu's distress, plus 999. From Coral Odin Johnson's distress, plus 99. Although Lu Xu's entire skeleton had been injured and he could not move, all the invisible swords within the fortress had turned and returned to Lu Xu. The corpse dog had also suddenly shot out from his celestial map. The sword energy of a hundred swords and the corpse dog formed a massive whirlpool of sword energy, which surged towards Takashima. In his shock, Takashima raised a blood wall to resist the whirlpool. But the sword energy broke through the blood wall like a cutting machine. The sword energy disappeared, but so did the blood wall. In a flash, the corpse dog had come to Takashima. Takashima stretched out his bloody hands and forcibly gripped the corpse dog, but he too was thrown back by the corpse dog's inertia. Takashima laughed coldly. If that was the case, the two of you can be buried along with the rest of the practitioners from the collection of gods. But in the next moment, a small white shadow suddenly sprang out from the corpse dog. From its figure, it seemed to resemble Lu Shu. Clap. Then, there was complete silence. Lu Shu and Coral were slightly muddled, Takashima was even more muddled. The sword spirit flew out of the corpse dog to Takashima's face and gave him a slap on the face. Takashima's face turned numb. There was even a palm print that was the size of a fingertip on his face. One could clearly see each finger. Lu Shu was dumbfounded. He did not tell it to do this. Was this sword spirit, so lowly? From Takashima Tairatsu's distress, plus one thousand. Takashima had let his guard down. He completely did not expect this to happen. The corpse dog had taken advantage of the situation and directly penetrated Takashima's head. From Takashima Tairatsu's distress, plus one thousand. Takashima, on the boundary of Class A and the leader of the collection of gods, had died just like that. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty Man, we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we beg to know Like what did the song